Today I'm going to show you how to make this really easy low carb ratatouille with Italian sausage. So you're going to need about two or three tablespoons of olive oil, uh, five or six links of an uncooked Italian sausage. Now that's anywhere from 18 to 20 ounces or 510 to 566 grams. Uh, then you're going to need two medium zucchini, which we're going to chop. Uh, two medium yellow summer squash, or you can use patty pan squash, which I'm using, also chopped. Now it calls for um, a medium yellow pepper and a red pepper or capsicum. Uh, I don't have a yellow one. I'm going to use a red and a green one. Half of a small red onion, also chopped. Six large cloves of fresh garlic if you have it, or you can use about two tablespoons of minced garlic. Six medium tomatoes, red or yellow is fine, chopped. One teaspoon of sugar, now that is optional, but it does cut down on the acidity of the tomatoes so it'll taste nicer and it's not enough to worry about in a dish of this size. One tablespoon of dried parsley or other herb if you like. Two teaspoons each of dried basil and oregano and salt and pepper to taste. So to start with, you're just going to heat a small amount of the olive oil in a large heavy pan and then we'll put the Italian sausages in there whole, cook over medium high heat until they're browned on all sides. They won't be cooked through. So again, the goal here is just to brown them on the outside. They're not going to be cooked through. So just periodically turn them until they're all brown. So now while those are browning, I'm going to go ahead and chop all of my vegetables into just bite-sized pieces. Cut that way and then just go back to approximately that size pieces. Chop all the veggies. Okay, these are looking really nice. They're browned well. So what I'm going to do is leave the pan on the heat, but remove these to a cutting board and just let them cool a bit till we can handle them. Now we're going to add just a little bit more olive oil. And we'll add the zucchini and the yellow squash. Cook and stir those to brown them about five minutes or so. So that's been about five minutes. And you can see it's just starting to get a little brown on it. Um, so what I'm going to do is now remove that from the pan. So we can add one more ingredient. So now we'll just add a little bit more oil. And in goes the peppers, or capsicum, and the onion. As well as the garlic. So we're going to cook and stir this for maybe four or five minutes. Okay, so that's been about five minutes. Um, so now I've lowered the heat to medium. And we're gonna go ahead and add our chopped tomatoes. And just cook that for about five minutes. So just gently stir those together to combine. So that's been about five minutes, and as you can see, there's a lot of liquid in the bottom now, which is really good. So now, we're just gonna add back the zucchini and the squash, as well as the salt, pepper, sugar, and other seasonings. I've just mixed them all together here. And I'm gonna give that a good stir. And then we're gonna continue cooking this on low for about 30 minutes, uncovered. So while that's cooking, I'm just going to come over here and cut my sausage now. A bit on a diagonal, but you don't want them too big, kind of bite-sized chunks. That's looking really good and it sure smells good. So now we're going to add the sausage in. So I'll stir that through. And we're going to let that cook again for maybe another 15 minutes. Longer if you like. As long as you want, just fine. Oh, it smells really good. 
As you can see, that's just got a nice low bubble going there, a nice low boil. Um, it's been going about 15 minutes, a little over actually. And uh, the sausage definitely looks cooked through when you pull it up and have a look. So I'm gonna go ahead and serve. So there you have it, low carb ratatouille with Italian sausage. It's very nice, I do hope you give it a try. Um, you could try serving it with Parmesan on it if you like, but it's really good just as it is.